What comes to your mind when you hear the term artificial intelligence? Is it scenes straight out of a dystopian sci-fi thriller? Is it about machines that are killing people or machines that are taking people's jobs? Is it something very futuristic that's associated with flying cars and robots? Different groups of people understand the technology differently. And this is because we tend to analyze things that we don't really understand based on what they can do rather than how they do it. In general, there are those who don't understand the technology but criticize it. There are people who don't understand it but embrace it. And then maybe it's you or me who is trying to remain open-minded, enhance your understanding and form an opinion based on facts rather than your fear for the unknown. And in order to start this podcast, I need to answer the main question, what is AI? In a world of great uncertainty, what I can tell you for sure is that it is not human intelligence, and it will never be. This is not to say that machines are not as powerful as humans. What I'm saying is that it is different. And that alone should indicate that one is not replacing the other, at least anytime soon. Hi, and welcome to the Business and Technology Podcast with Nicola Stradis the show that discusses technology in business and business in technology. Remember iRobot? We are robots covered by the three laws accidentally pose the threat to humanity. Well, our AI journey involves navigating ethical concerns, job displacement, and potential biases. It also includes opportunities for expansion and growth. But above all, What we need to realize about AI, and maybe to an extent about technology in general, is that it is inevitable. It cannot be stopped, it cannot be restricted, and we have the choice to grow with it or die fighting against it. This is the reason why businesses are tapping into AI to streamline operations, enhance customer experience, and make data-driven decisions. It is like having a reliable ally assisting you in your daily battles. Consider Amazon, for example. Behind the scenes, AI algorithms analyze customer preferences, predict buying patterns, and optimize the entire supply chain. This not only improves efficiency, but also ensures that customers receive what they want when they want it. And sure, It is easy to use Amazon, Tesla, and Google to find examples of how AI is changing the world. But the reality is that the technology is becoming more and more accessible nowadays to small and medium-sized businesses. And I'm not just talking about uh, writing LinkedIn posts with ChatGPT, but about high-value automation that improves customer experience, accessibility, and operation. Honestly, once you see a couple of examples of how simple AI solutions improve productivity and outcomes, the only limit for potential applications will be your imagination and creativity. Again, these solutions are already accessible and in most cases readily available. Broader adoption is a matter of time. I have already described what AI is not and what it cannot do. But what exactly is it? At its core, artificial intelligence refers to the development of computer systems that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. But here's the catch. It is not about creating machines that mimic human beings. It's about enabling machines to analyze data, learn from it, and make decisions without explicit human programming. Think of AI as the supercharged brain of your business operations, capable of processing immense amounts of information faster than any human could ever dream of. To illustrate that, 
imagine a chess grandmaster. Now picture an AI system that not only plays chess, but continuously learns from every game it plays. It doesn't just memorize moves. It adapts and evolves its strategy based on its opponent's pattern, based on outcome. That's the power of AI, constant learning and adaptation from data and results. No emotion and no intuition is involved in the process. And because of that, we must realize that AI is not just a tool for convenience. It's a force that can reshape industries and societies. And while we are not dealing with rock-killing machines, we must be mindful of the potential risks as we navigate this technological frontier. The reality is that AI automates routine tasks. And yes, there is a risk of certain jobs becoming obsolete. But as a professional accountant, I can tell you that from experience. 20 years ago, or maybe 30 years ago, accounting and audit were carried out manually on pieces of paper and books. The technological advancements of the last years, the automation achieved, didn't make the profession obsolete. If anything, the number of professional accountants increases year on year. What it did, however, and this is very important, was to allow accountants to improve the efficiency of their work. It allowed them to achieve better results and improve the quality of their services. I'm not denying the existence of risks, but I'm challenging the basis of analysis that focuses on the downside without really appreciating the upside. Consider it a transformation where routine tasks are delegated to the machines allowing humans to focus on creativity, critical thinking, and innovation. Aspects that truly make us irreplaceable. The integration of AI into the business landscape presents immense opportunities, but it's not without its challenges. The key is a responsible adoption, constant innovation, and a commitment to ethical practices. It is not a question of if, but a question of when. Because AI is real and the train is moving fast. Thank you very much for your time here. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you have, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more discussions around business and technology. See you soon.